All right, hello everyone and welcome to another match day vlog. Away at Huddersfield today, away at the John Smith Stadium, on uh, on the back of the win before the international break against Middlesbrough. Confident, don't know what, how McCann's gonna line up, but there's a bit of there's a bit of optimism here now. <laughs> what I like, so let's get down to Huddersfield and I'll uh, report back to you, and we're there. Come on, City. No more than five minutes into this one and Cannon stayed down for quite a long while clutching his knee. This could uh, this could be quite worrying this. We'll see how this uh, we'll see how this develops. As soon as I stop talking, Cannon's back up ready to come on and fine. One nil Huddersfield! Corner whipped in all the Huddersfield players were moving about everywhere in the box. It's almost as if they'd forgot where the goal was. Our defenders couldn't cope with it. There was a goal mouth scramble. It went in. And it was Tom Lees who put it in. There were appeals for a penalty from Huddersfield just before that because Greaves and I think it was Danny Ward ended up in a massive human sandwich on the floor but 1-0 down 9 minutes free kick to City Lewis Potter Twenty-five gone. Free kick Huddersfield. Oh. I think that's small one in the book. Anyway, since their since their goal, we've come into it a little bit more. Is there any punishment for small one here? I'm not sure. I'm not sure at this point. The ref's just walking. But yeah, we've come into it a little bit more. We had the free kick, which of course we saw. Um, about it, really. In-depth analysis of what you came for. Huddersfield free kick. Honeyman 
brought down. I can't tell you who it was. Got booked for it. It was a harsh tackle. I think it's Holmes and Sinani stood over it. A wall of Cannon, Bernard, Greaves, Smallwood and Wilkes for City. And Ingram needs to get his positioning right here. Holmes takes. Oh, Corner for City. Had one just a second ago. Greaves headed just over. Tipped over by the keeper. What's going on? There's a heap of maroon shirts on the floor. Half time. No, not sure if you can hear me or not over this stadium announcer. Too loud. Regardless. Um, the first 10 minutes were poor. We conceded, then we just started randomly passing it round the back where we just didn't want to go forward. We were always looking back. And at that point, if they'd have got in the, if they'd have intercepted one of them passes and scored, they'd have had they'd have been fully deserving of it. But they didn't, and we came into it. That free kick was close. We had a corner at the end with Grease, which I didn't get on camera, which was close. Fraser Campbell's just running towards, uh, running towards us now. He'll come on and score something. He'll come on and score something. It's just written. But we've gone back to this 4-3-3, and we just immediately look worse. This, the press isn't the same from what it was against Middlesbrough. The desire isn't the same from what it was against Middlesbrough. We just need, uh, we just need to have that again, because where we came out and looked as though we wanted to win the game. We started this game on the back foot, and, it, and uh, that's carried on. And that's why we're one 0 down. On the bench, we've got Eves and McGinnis. The front three have done very little. We've got, we've got George Monker who. When you bring him off the bench, he's effective. We've, we've just, he's got to make a change. He's, he simply has to make a change. Because otherwise, there's only one way this game's going, and that's in the favour of Huddersfield. Here we go then, second half underway.
done done. to Holmes on the far side, took a couple of touches, put it on his strong right foot and bent it into the top corner. It's a brilliant goal, but it's a, it's a stupid goal to give away. Just nobody closed him down and at all. Town, the 77th minute, Huddersfield's defence have just brought another defender on, completely switched off. Ball bounces through to Malik Wilkes. He's got, he's got the ball. Keep, uh, keepers near post on his he can shoot from his strong side he's got Tom Eves next to him so you know you'd think this has to be 2-1 what does he do he waits to try and blow the keeper in who's completely off guard and by that time someone's already got back and tackled him brilliant he's been absolutely useless today as Manning Wilkes done absolutely nothing at all but somehow he'll still get minutes the system changed back to what didn't work, it simply hasn't worked today. Sim simply that it, this is the biggest reason this is the biggest shout McCann will ever get to not go back to the 4-3-3 it quite simply doesn't work hope you've enjoyed this one everyone see you later need a response on Wednesday up the Tigers goodbye another 